guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to show you about how to solve a 3 into 3 rubik's cube so the 3x3 rubik's cube is very easy when you have learnt all the four stages with only very few formulas the first stage in the 3x3 rubik's cube is solving the white cross the next stage is by solving all the white and completing the first layer the third step is to solve the second layer and the fourth step is to do a yellow cross on the bottom next step is to correct all the yellow corners and then finally you have made it you have solved the rubik's cube so let's get started watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe our channel so let's get started One, two, three, come on. So the first step in solving the Rubik's cube is to solve the white cross. So let me shuffle it off and then I will explain you how to solve this white cross. So there are three cases in solving this white cross. If you are a beginner it will be very easy to solve the white cross but let me explain with three different cases. So the first case is very easy. So if you have the white edge piece over here or here or somewhere in this this place or this place in that middle lay, middle piece then you should do this if suppose I am having a white piece here and I should move this piece to over to the top with this to match it with the white center I should just do R or L R is nothing but just move the right hand side part up or left is nothing but just move the left hand side part up so if you have a white edge piece over in this middle area you should just do R so now now I, we have done this part so the next case is when you have a white piece down bottom to the white center piece that is when you have the white edge piece near this yellow center piece then what you should do is very simple First, what you should do is free up the space for the white edge piece to come up over the white center piece. So, I am freeing up the space so that this edge piece can come over this free area. So, what we are going to do is to turn the whole front side F 180 degree turn. First 90 degree, then again a 90 degree, 180 degree. So, we have come, we have made this. Uh, edge piece to come over here so two times you should do R or you should do two times F so we have made this another case is that when you have the third case is when you have a white edge piece near the top of the uh, near in the first layer of the white or in the la bottom layer which is yellow facing you then you should do this first make this piece to come over here this area middle piece as I've already said so we should do a full front turn then we should free up the space suppose if it is like this we should free up the face now I have a free space so I can move yell left full up. so I made the 75% of cross next piece is where yeah we have this is like typically like the first case but is little bit complicated so we have already a piece over this area so if I do this left then this piece will move over here so I shouldn't disturb the piece which is already located so what I should do is to turn the full cross and free up the space so that I can now easily I can turn it and complete the cross what we have done is first we should free up the space so I am moving the TH piece so I can get the free up space. Now I can do just normally. So guys we have completed the edge. So next step is to do the first layer. So let's get into the first layer. So before solving the first layer you should consider this one. What is that is to align these center pieces with the center caps. So if I have a uh, edge, white edge piece with the green color I should align with, align it with the green center piece next is if I have a brown or red edge piece with 
with the white i should align it with the brown color same way blue and green if i have somewhat case like this see if only if i started aligning i have red aligned blue aligned but these two colors are not aligning that is orange and green are interchanged so what in this case we should do is as i already said while in the uh, while the hp is in uh, near uh, yellow we should do 180 degree turn right so this we should do it now so what we should do take the unmatched pair turn it 180 degree now we have made this hp is to come over here and below that we should take this piece to its correct color so i am bringing that piece over here to make it match with the orange and orange color now i am doing 180 degree turn to make this piece over here so we have made a one correct pair next is we have green edge piece so i what i am going to do is again match it up with the correct color and bring it up so we have completed the first cross white cross with the center's color matching so next what we are going to do is to complete the first layer so after solving the white cross is the next step is that to solve the first layer first layer is nothing but to solve the white completely along with the all the colors matching up so we after solving the first layer we'll be getting a t shape in all the four colors that is red blue green and orange so let's get started about how to solve this first layer so the first step is to check whether all the corner pieces are on the top surface so i suppose this is a white corner piece so first step is to find a white corner piece the corner piece has totally three colors in that white should be if white is present so it is declared as the white corner space so first find a white corner piece then except the white check what else colors does it have so in the first case we have orange and blue along with white so i'll be taking this corner piece in between orange and blue color yeah like this you should place the white corner piece between the orange color and blue color that is we have these two colors so what we are going to do is we are going to place this corner piece over this area so that both the colors are paired between by this corner piece so this is first case so while the white color is facing you what we should do is hold the uh, cube in your left hand and do this formula left up you should take the left hand up u apostrophe u apostrophe means turn it this right hand side and left down so now we have made it to made the corner piece down so we have the next first find a white corner i have found it check the two colors brown and green so i will be taking this to brown and green so now i am going to place this again here so what we should do when the white is facing you place it in your left hand and do this formula left u comma left down so the next case is that i have found a white corner piece with uh, blue and red so i'm taking it to between that two colors now where's the white the white is in the right hand side it is facing towards the right so in this case what i should do is hold it in your right hand and do this formula right up u u means this left hand side u apostrophe means that side u and r apostrophe that means down so i made the corner piece to come over down so th yeah this is the same case where the white is facing up hold it in your right hand and do the formula r u r apostrophe so there is one more case where the white will be facing up let me show you. so in this case the white is facing up so i have found a white corner piece now but i have taken it to both the colors but the white is facing up so what we should do hold it in your right hand do the formula r w what why because we are doing this means if i do single u then if i move down then the corner piece will be with us so w down again you should bring it over here so this is the case what i told you while white is facing towards the right hold it in your right hand do the formula r 
u r apostrophe that means dot yeah now we have completed this first layer guys okay next we are going to do the first two layers so after solving the white cross and completing the first layer our next step is to solve the second layer so how do we solve the second layer come let's find it out so after solving the first layer we should do the second layer so what we should what we are going to do is that when we have completed the first layer we should always keep the white at uh, white completed layer at the bottom of our hand and yellow layer should be visible to us so now what we are going to find is that we should find the middle piece without yellow color that is known as non yellow middle piece so we are going to find non yellow middle piece in this top layer or the bottom layer so we are going to find so first i am taking this piece so we have a red color but we have yellow no it shouldn't be we should find only non yellow middle piece so next look it for next so we have red again but we have blue yeah it is a non yellow middle piece so what we are going to do is first when you find a non yellow middle piece so you should take the take this piece to the color which is facing you so what color is facing us it is facing red color so i should take this piece to red so i have taken that piece to red this non yellow middle piece now i am going to check what color is at the top the top color is blue so what i am going to look for is i should check whether which side is blue is located whether this side or this side so blue is located over our left hand side if the blue color is located over left hand side what we should do is first we should turn it to the opposite manner so if the color is located over your left turn it to the right hand side if the color is located over your right turn it to the left hand side so now what case we have blue so blue it's located in left so we are going to turn it to over our right and next is comes our formula we should take this left up move the up down now we have matched a pair with both the corner and the edge piece so we are going to insert this piece over here so here what we should do is turn up match it down so we have completed a block of two pairs so which this had made up a block between the two layers so now let us find the next piece yeah we have this piece with green facing us and orange at the top so i have already made it to uh, with the green matching so we have to find where orange is located here red is located so here will be orange so what we should do is if orange is located over right we should turn it towards our left and we should do the formula up down so now we have matched it next we should keep it over left then what we should do up left up up reverse and down so we have made it so next piece is yeah blue and orange so orange is located over our left so we should turn it right hand side up down then we should pair it then we should according to the formula we should do so we have done it so next piece is yeah here we have matched it next we have to turn because green is located to our right so we should turn down we have matched it next is what we should do is take it to our, towards our side now take this piece up so that we can make this free space occupied by this correct pair so i am going to use this space i have made it now i am going to take it down so we have completed the first layer i have another case let me show you so this is the case what i have told you when your edge piece that is the non yellow middle piece has stuck over somewhere in this corner it may not be this only two colors it may be any color so what we should do is now we should take the in this case we should take the white on our top what we should do is write down we should move that piece down up and what we should do is again 
we should keep our white down now we what in the previous first layer we have learned right if white is facing up we should hold it in our left hand and do that formula l u l so now our uh, hp has come over to this area so after coming up this we can do it lightly first match the color then see what color is on top orange orange is to our left hand side if it is located in left turn it to the right take this up opposite manner join it join these two pair and make use then turn it make this make this pair into this so we should, what we should do is take this pair empty pair out occupy by this and take it down so we have completed the first two layers now we are going to make the yellow cross after solving the first two layers our next step our next goal is to solve the yellow cross so after solving the yellow cross as i have already said in the intro we are going to just align the corners and yeah we have completed the rubik's cube so let's get started about how to solve the yellow cross so in solving the yellow cross there are totally three cases the first one is that after solving the first two layers we have a l shaped yellow pieces so in this case what we are going to do is this is the first case with l shape we are going to hold it by having a re reverse of l shape so we are going to hold like this and do the formula f front r u r u again r u r u next turn it first we have done a, a f no we are going to reverse that so what is the formula means f r u r u r u r u then f reverse so i have made a yellow cross next case is oh come on if i got only a yellow line what i am going to do is that we are going to again hold the yellow line towards us and do the formula but only once we are going to do r u f r u r u and first we have done a f right now we are going to reverse it so in solving a rubik's cube this r u r u you should be very practiced so now we have got a cross so the next case is oh man i didn't get any pieces aligned but i've got only this yellow piece means what i should do simple don't worry guys so what we are going to do hold it any way you want so do this algorithm first f r u r u r u r u twice and f reverse so we will be getting a yellow line so next is cc we are going to hold what i have said we are going to hold the yellow line horizontally and next do it again f only once r u r u f reverse yeah we have got it so thank you guys we have completed the yellow cross and the first layer next we are going to align this like we have aligned the white edge pieces right now we are going to align the yellow edge pieces so let's check let me align yeah red red aligned oopsie not not aligned not aligned not aligned so let me check for any two pairs consecutively or adjacent pairs aligned so let us check with the uh, green yeah green aligned yeah two pairs aligned this is the first case if two pairs are aligned make sure that you place the two pairs with your right hand side and do this because these two pairs are not aligned right r u down again r up twice down yeah now we are going to simply this line red blue green sorry orange and green so what we have done is if only two pairs are aligned make sure that you keep it on the right and do this algorithm r u down so if this is the case yeah two colors means make sure you hold it on the right once again and do that algorithm you will be getting this so if not 
no pieces have been solved right means what we should do do that algorithm twice okay so next move on to the last stage of our rubik's cube solve so the last part in solving the rubik's cube as i have said is to correct all the corner pieces of yellow so what we are going to do is we just we need to check which pieces have been solved correctly solved correctly not means that it should be the yellow face should be on top no solved pieces should be if yeah it has blue color okay blue comes here and yellow goes up okay correct oops orange is not located here, here it should be red next that means only that this current piece is solved so it is not solved wrong yeah red is there yellow is there but no blue is not located in these three sides so it is also not wrong yeah green yellow orange yeah this is the correct piece this is what i am looking for so the first step is to look for the correct corner piece uh, this is also not correctly solved so what we are going to do is make sure that the correct corner piece is facing you and do this formula this is very easy to memorize i'll let you know that first we are not going to disturb this so we are going to make this guy to sit like this and we are going to take this guy hey come on friend and we are also going to wait goda then we are asking this friend to come up and we are also becoming friends with the guy again and goda you go and sleep and also we are going to, because we are friends right all the colors so we are going to again be friends with them and done so we have to we have to do this algorithm twice in this case so what we are going to do first make him alone ask this friend to come up and you should go then ask this friend to come up and join them together these two friends and i mean join them these two friends too yeah now we have got all the three pieces solved all the rest all three pieces so let us check now i have yellow yeah, it goes to the top and red yeah it comes here and green comes here so this piece is solved next is oh, yeah it is already solved and next piece yeah blue comes here and yellow comes here and orange comes here so we have corrected all the four corner pieces now it is the last step we are going to do is to align the corner pieces in their correct place so now what we are going to do is that we are going to make sure that the yellow face is u and we are going to do this formula is do the do like me r u r u what man doing all these the same formula because it is very important and make sure that you practice it so how many times do i do this formula means if you do that do that formula till your yellow piece comes to its correct position so next what we are going to do is move it down why i am moving down is to make sure the next unsolved piece comes over unsolved yellow corner piece so this piece is already solved so i am not going to take this yeah when the this this piece is the one i should solve it so what i am going to do is if the yellow face is you do it as many times till the or you are you from that till the yellow face goes to dark yeah it's matched up yeah solved so the 3 into 3 rubik's cube is very easy as i've already said so please like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also subscribe the bell icon thank you very much guys